Good evening. So I've got a few exciting things coming up this weekend. It is Thursday, so it's not really the weekend, but it's like, I mean, it could be the weekend if we wanted to be the weekend. I actually think Thursday is the new Friday. I love going out on a Thursday. Anyone else? Anyone else agree? I am currently on my way, stuck in terrible traffic, to a flight lesson. If you've like watched me for a while, you probably know that I wanted to be a pilot like my whole life. But then I kind of like postponed the idea just because, because of a few things actually, because there was no jobs in the pilot industry whenever I was leaving school because of COVID. And then also like YouTube kind of like became my job. And I was like, well, why would I not just do this? Because I literally love doing YouTube. So if it's able to be my job, like, why not? But there's been like a gap in my heart ever since I stopped like training to be a pilot. When I say training, I mean, I literally did like a few lessons when I was younger and like work experience like with pilots. As in like, I can, I know my way around a plane. I can, I can fly a small plane, but I am no way like licensed to drive a plane on my own. So to give me like a kick up the arse, my parents are really, really keen for me to get my license. Cause it's like, it's a great thing to have under your belt, a pilot's license. I mean, I could fly the whole family in Cornwall for the day if I wanted. Not that I ever would, but I could. So to give me like a kick up the arse, to get my license going my mum got me a lesson at a flight center like an hour away from me for my birthday like last month i've literally never been so excited like i had this is really like tmi i had like excited poos <laughs> like i've got a really unsettled stomach because of how excited i am you know who i've literally been obsessed with recently justin timberlake a justin timberlake fire has been set alight within me and it's He's all I can listen to. I'm obsessed with Justin Timberlake. You know, I always say that Robert Pattinson is my favorite celebrity. I think Justin Timberlake might be because you know what? He's diverse. He's got amazing songs, but then he's also a really good actor. I mean, the only really movie I've watched him in is Friends of Benefits, but what a fucking amazing movie. I love that movie. Should we just listen to some of his songs? I think we should. Fuck it, let's do it. to break into like an extreme hip-hop breakdance routine while I'm on the M1 so you need to bear that in mind if you're gonna listen to him in the car oh my god guys I have just absolutely fallen in love with much fun oh i literally enter a state of what would i call it like rel is that a word like i just i fucking love it up in the sky it's so peaceful and nice and nothing else matters in the world and i just love it i'm so happy because for a long time i didn't really think it was gonna be possible to become a pilot because have you ever looked up how expensive it is to go to pilot school because like I don't understand who is affording to pay for pilot school it's a hundred grand for a year and a half course to become a pilot Seems a bit unfair to me because like who has a hundred grand to spend on a course? I once went to this like fair in Dublin, like a pilot like careers day. I was like talking to people being like, so how do you fund this? And they were like, oh like my parents like remortgaged their house or, or my granny and granddad left me so much money. And I was like, okay, well neither of those two things are gonna happen for me. So unless I win the lottery, I'm not gonna be able to be a pilot. There's also like these cadet ships where a lot of airlines like pay for you to train to be a pilot. Which is like what I was going to try to do, but they're really competitive because there's only obviously a few spaces and like everyone wants that because no one wants to pay a hundred grand to be a pilot. It's ridiculous! A hundred grand! Anyway, sorry. I get a bit pissed off about it and you don't even get like a student loan or anything. Sorry. I always thought like me ever being able to fly like properly was, was quite like, not far-fetched. Like I still was definitely going to try like have a good stab at it, but I just didn't know if I'd be able to do it like financially. So the fact that like I am... Um, privileged enough because of my job and from you guys like supporting me that i'm actually able to like fund myself to get my license is like honestly i've never been more grateful for anything in my life like it doesn't feel real and i'm so 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 happy and i just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me and i love you so much and i'm going to take you along with me in my my process of learning to be a pilot hey guys so this video is really really kindly sponsored by gymshark so gymshark have a huge cyber week sale live right now which gives you up to 70 percent off selected styles if you've been wanting to get like a cute little workout set for a while, I actually find them really like motivating. Like if I have a cute workout set, I'm like, I want to go to the gym, I want to work out. 
I feel like now with this huge sale, you should definitely get one. I picked up a few things from the sale, which I'm gonna show you now. First of all, I got this top. I've been really struggling because I was going on runs recently and I don't like wearing just a sports bra whenever I'm running because people are scary. But I don't wanna wear a big hoodie, so I picked up this like long sleeve top but I feel like it's perfect for runs in this weather. I think it's really, really cute and flattering and I love it. And I got this like matching little brown sports bra and leggings set. I think it's really cute. I mean, brown is literally my favorite color. I just feel like Gymshort really like sucks you in in all the right places. You also like don't have to just wear this to the gym. You can literally wear this to get coffee it'd be really cute. Next up I got this really cute like top and matching legging set. This top has like thumb holes in it which I'm literally obsessed with. Like I used to cut holes in my school jumper so I could have my thumb through it because I literally love it so much. It looks quite grey in this camera but it's actually like a really nice purple. And I also put up this really really cute sports bra. I feel like that would be so cute in summer. I did get it a bit in advance. Like, I think summer's a good six months away but I was like it's a sale. It'd be rude not to. And make sure you click the link in my description to check out Gymshark's huge cyber week sale and pick up some cute new gym wear. Hey thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, I just got I got back home and I like had to run around and clean my entire flat like in 10 minutes because tonight my plan is I'm going to an event and then after the event I'm meeting my home friend like my friend from school Catherine back here because she's sleeping over at my house because she had an event in London and needed somewhere to stay so I was like oh my god stay at mine sleep over so that's what's happening now I'm getting ready I've got myself a coffee it is like seven o'clock don't know why I'm drinking coffee I just don't think I could drink right now I don't feel very well I don't think I'm gonna drink tonight that was such a lie I did drink I actually got really drunk so ignore it ignore everything I say ready this is the Fit. I'm wearing this little top from Peachy Den. It's actually a dress, but I made it into a top. And then just like my really baggy white trousers and knee shoes. Spitting Irish. Hi, I'm, my name's Olivia Neil. I'm Irish. <laughs> top of the morning till last. Today's February, 20, February 17th. It's <laughs> Leprechaun Day. Fuck, it's St. Patrick's Day. Hey guys, what's up with the morning chair? It's March 17th. March 17th, <laughs> February 17th. Olivia, did I say for you? <laughs> Okay, I never put in clips from when I'm drunk. Like, I always vlog when I'm drunk and I never put it in because I just hate myself when I'm drunk. My voice is fucked here because I'd been like all night, so just ignore that. But I thought it was quite funny. I've just gotten home and I've got the McPlant from McDonald's. This is Catherine, my own friend. You've definitely met her before, but anyway. I've always got cheese on it as well. It looks like a burger. It fully looks like a burger. Oh my god. Look at Phil. That oh. tastes like a fully on a burger. Good mm -hmm. shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Do you still, do you crave meat? Do you think? No. <laughs> Morning. I am not feeling my finest. I'm not gonna lie. I did get a little bit drunk last night. We're going to Portobello and we're gonna have brunch and there's a market there on Fridays as well. So I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. I'm wearing this like sweat. What, what do you call this? Like a, a, a track suit? Sweat suit. Sweat suit. <laughs> so we're going for brunch. I can just tell you. You know when you go for brunch, I think the morning after you're like shaking like, in the cafe today. and you've got like the alcohol sweats. Like I know that's gonna be happening today. <laughs> this is like from Picante, which is my friends, business, avocado, love it. Brunch time, even though I did have avocado toast already, I just, I can't function without it, so I had to have it before, like, before brunch, which is just stupid. Naturally, we're listening to Justin Timberlake in the car. I've actually got the alcohol sweat test, why I'm so red. And Catherine just informs me that my beloved JT apparently cheated on his wife. Yeah, he was in, he went on a date, like, with his movie co-star, and there he got, he got caught. Stop. <laughs> I fully I, I fall in love with this boy, like the idea of this man. Fuck. Yeah, no. Another disappointment. Sorry. But why are they still together? <laughs> She forgave him. Like, I, okay, I don't actually know if this is 100%. So, like, <laughs> God, you're just spreading rumors with Justin Timberlake. Like, like just challenge shit. Character, like, like, defamation for no reason. But, like, like, on, like, on your, like, on your YouTube channel, like, we cancelled Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Justin Timberlake at least, like, canceled. at least done nothing wrong. Wait, okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, he, and he did come out with a statement saying, like, I'm sorry. No, I'm pretty sure. Have they got kids? Yeah. Wait, this kid's gonna go worse. Yeah. 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 The, the Justin I know would never do that. <laughs> Why did I eat before I came? <laughs> I just like, I refuse to pay for avocado toast, but I can make it better. If they have beans here, I would so consider. You're literally the worst person in the world. You're like, I'm not eating anything but big beans. <laughs> I like the simple things in life. 
Are those actually from Waitrose? Yeah. I got these glasses in Waitrose yesterday. We're in like the wee courtyard bit. Pretty. Ka Catherine's got her six quid salmon. <laughs> yeah. I think this, it's gonna bankrupt me. This much salmon, six quid. It's extortionate. It is gonna be good. <laughs> Hello. I <laughs> know. I'm drawing North Face. Where? There. Wow. Say wow. Wow. I feel like I'm about to pass away. Last night has not done me well at all, and the fact that I have to do it all over again tonight is not, it's not sitting well with me right now. I've got a very uneasy stomach. So I obviously went and met my mum and dad there, and we had some lunch and did a bit of shopping. Do you want a haul? Okay, I'll give you a haul. I got these jeans. They're the what? They're a V suit. We don't know. I didn't try them on, so I'm not sure about the sizing of them, but. I'm hoping they're gonna be okay. I might wear them tonight. I'll try them on later. They just, I wanted like oversized. I don't know if they're oversized enough. I then went and got this really fluffy hat because I am an advocate for fluffy hats now. I love fluffy hats. And then my mum and dad got me some flowers for my flat, which was so cute. And then this is really exciting. So basically my cousin's having a wedding. Well, he's actually married in Jamaica. And I didn't get the fucking invite, but anyway, I'm not salty about it. But because there's only like six people invited to the actual wedding in Jamaica, he's having this like big wedding party in Belfast in a couple of weeks. So I'm going home for that. Which will be so fun. But also I'm really sad because do you know Sitsi? Um, it's that like YouTube convention thing. I was meant to be going to that that weekend. And I, I love Sitsi and like I get to meet so many of you guys. But my cousin's wedding is that day. Like I'm in Belfast that whole weekend which is so sad. But I can't really miss my cousin's wedding. I think he would probably get a little bit pissed off with that. Okay, back to the camera. But anyway, I needed to get like a fancy dress for that obviously. And I found this dress. Let me show you. This like long red dress and it's got a big slit up the side. Where is it? Here, big slit up the side, sexy. This is like my favorite neckline as well. Oh, it has that smell though. You know what it, it reminds me of? When you were doing your plays in school and like the costume that you'd be made to wear, that's what this smells like. I hate that smell, that took me right back to my P7 play. What a night. I had two solos, guys. I had to, let me remember. How to be a princess, chapter one. Never let yourself have fun. I was meant to be a star. You know what I actually did used to be like quite a good singer though? Shall I get, I'm gonna get my mum to send me the video of me singing because it's actually really good. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I became such a bad singer. Everything hurts. I never want to drink again. Then I had a nap and then I woke up like 10 minutes before I was meant to be at the restaurant with my mum and dad for dinner, so. I woke up from my nap and really slept in. I did my makeup in like 10 minutes. So that's where we are now. Um, I need to leave in like five minutes and I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I really wanna wear my new jeans. Anytime I get something new, I'm like, I need to wear this immediately or else I didn't get it. If you want my vibe, eh. Maybe like, just like a black kind of like see-through shirt, okay. My camera said no. Like with a little like cute bra. I fucking hate wearing bras. I got this one though and it's really cute. It's from Urban Outfitters and it's got like, like little silver bits. I think that could be cute. I'll try that on. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, this is how it looks. I'm not mad at it. It's kind of boring. I mean, I had five minutes. I was not gonna be picking a revolutionary outfit. Do you want me to give you a tutorial on how I feed my cat? Fine, I'll give you one. So first of all, you get your bowl. Then you get your Lily's Kitchen Pate. I then get some vitamin paste. Um, just to give him some extra vitamins. And then I put in a little bit of water just to mash it all up with because he's not a huge drinker or Phil and I do want to make sure he stays hydrated. Oh my God, looks so yummy, Phil. And then we serve. Oh, look at him in his little cloid. Oh, oh he's not sure about it. Oh no, he is, don't worry. I'm not gonna head off and meet my parents for dinner. Cheers. Oh, no one actually cheers. It's a really large shot, bro. Oh. <laughs> because I'm... Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a pipe. Yeah. Yeah. It's stinking, Graham. It's stinking. Mm. It's Remember what I said? Okay, so obviously the last thing I vlogged was my night out. So woke up this morning and got my period. And right, I think I'm a pretty good sufferer. Like I bought quite a high pain tolerance and stuff like with like needles and all that. Oh, my jars. Periods are the one thing that just wipes me out, like completely. 
I want my ovaries removed. I want the entire organ out now. I'm in so much pain. Decided to treat myself to a Chinese because what like better comforting food is there? I got vegan sweet and sour chicken and vegan chicken satay with noodles. Probably gonna regret it later because Chinese takeaway always makes me feel like shit. Like it seems like such a good idea at the time. And it is a good idea at the time. It tastes fucking amazing. But I don't know, it just makes me feel like so sick that night. So we're in for a treat later. Last night was really, really fun. So obviously I went out with my parents for dinner and then I headed out and went out clubbing, dancing. It was all right. I mean, I couldn't get drunk. I find that if I drink two nights in a row, I really struggle to get drunk the second night, like when I'm hungover, because I was still pretty hungover, to be honest, last night. So it got to like two, and I was like, I'm not going to spend any more money on these absolutely ludicrously priced drinks if I'm not getting drunk. So I came home and made ramen, as I should. Someone get me a fucking Feminax. I swear by Feminax. If you don't, I've never tried Feminax before. You need to get Feminax. It's incredible. It's obviously like pain relief for periods, but like it also just sends you straight to sleep. I don't know, it's amazing. Because I've been like lying on the sofa all day, I'm kind of like bored now and I kind of want to do something. So I was like, fuck it, should I just rearrange my room? Like, did you ever when you were younger literally spend hours just moving the furniture around your room and then be like, mom, mom? But yeah, I'm just like, I think that would bring me a bit of joy. So I think that's what we're going to do. At the minute, I'm currently using three ways we use rip eye. I'm basically obsessed with cooking videos i've said it so many times before i love like the buzzfeed youtube videos like there's this guy called andrew and like i would take his hand in marriage and he's in this video about how oh, he uses ribeye steak so i'm gonna watch it like i'm not interested in ribeye steak i'm interested in andrew i die for him i actually love him okay so this is the current state of my room it's an absolute mess i'm gonna tidy it and then i'm thinking of moving the bed into the wall because i personally love a wall beside my bed i feel like it makes me feel so much cozy so i'm gonna push that there and maybe move that there okay so this is not what we're working with when you come in i think it looks much cozier in my opinion but now we're left with all of this room here so i love um, this whole like white and wooden aesthetic I've got going on. It is very nice, but I just wanted to jazz it up a little bit. So basically my plan is I'm gonna keep my very like white and neutral aesthetic in my kitchen, but I thought why not just spice it up a little bit in here? I feel like it might make it a little bit more like homely and comforting in my bedroom, which is like obviously what I'm struggling with. Not struggling, but like, why did my voice break there? I literally sounded like I was gonna cry. No, I just like, I feel like it's a bit empty in here. So I wanted to like fill it out and put more furniture in it and maybe make it a little bit brighter because my blinds are like shut most of the time because I don't really want people like looking into my bedroom. People always ask me why the blinds come from the bottom, like the, the rollers at the bottom. So it's cause I can then like bring the blind like halfway and let in light, but still also have privacy. So yeah, my plan was a bit like to make it a bit more like bright. So I've ordered some like pastel yellow sheets and then I've got this like green and white checkered rug for there and then orange sofa there and little like coffee table and I'm just gonna like put loads of plants around there and make it nice and colorful. I just love changing my room. It makes me really, really excited. If you're bored right now, I just urge you to get out of bed and move some furniture around. It's fucking exhilarating. I'm gonna go get my TV and bring it in here because I'm just feeling like a movie night because I feel really, really sick. Not sick, I've just got really, really bad cramps. I refuse to get two TVs because I don't wanna have a TV constantly in my room. Otherwise I will not get out of bed. I can't see anything. Help. Okay, I made myself a huge, like, vessel of tea. And I basically have this obsession with putting, like, a 10-hour loop of a fire on my TV recently. I love fire. Not in a weird way, like, not one of those like, people... Do I look like that? What? Have I got a moustache? Probably. Maybe it's time to beat that. I, I do wish I could actually light my real fire. I might just fucking try it and see. I'm just worried that, like, my flat will blow up if I do it. Because they did tell me not to do it. Right, the fire is lit. I'm not going to drink my tea, probably watch a fucking other cooking video. Like, who are we kidding here? I will be, the second I turn this camera off, I will be switching my 10 hour loop of fireplace onto a cooking video, potentially like a another steak video. Fuck it, like, I will watch anything at this point if it's a cooking video. I might become a cooking channel, who knows? But anyway, yeah, thank you for watching my video. I mean, I really thought I was gonna have a fucking wild weekend, but then I got slam dunked by my period. Also, I don't really get my period very often. I get it like twice a year, so whenever I get it, it just floors me. I'm on like a pill that you're not meant to get it, so like whenever I do get it, I'm like, what the fuck? Am I pregnant? Am I pergert? No, I'm not, but I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching me begin my pilot's license. God, that was a fucking movie. <laughs> I seem to stop saying that I always describe things as a movie. Like, I started doing it sarcastically. I know it's become part of my vocabulary. Okay, I love you. Bye.